Hey everybody, Karaoke here. To finish up this week where we started getting into dungeons and running paths, I thought it'd be fun to recap some of the dungeon etiquette suggestions that I've had, as I think it's really important that everybody try to get along. We're gonna be playing with strangers or maybe with guildmates, and I think these are gonna be good rules for everybody. I'm gonna do this in the form of a top 10 list, vaguely sort of in order of importance, with 10 being the least important and one being the most important. Okay, so here we go. Number 10, don't expect to be carried. This one really frustrates me. If you're doing a path like COE, where you have to do the laser jump, or uh, COF, where you have to take the uh, boulders, the flame boulders across the trap, or even Ascalonian Catacombs, where you have to take down the burrows in path three, there are a lot of things where not everybody has to be involved. Don't be the person who stands around and does nothing or just clears inventory. You shouldn't expect to be carried when you do dungeons. You should try to actively participate in everything. Even if you're really bad at that COE laser jumping puzzle, you should at at least be trying. And never mind when I see people trying to do it and dying a lot. What I do mind is when people just run to the close side gear and stand there as though they expect me to do all the work. Number nine, if you join a multi-path group that's looking to do, say, paths one, two, and three of a dungeon, but you only intend to do a single path, either let people know before they start or don't join that group. It's really frustrating when I'm trying to get people to do a dungeon and I'm doing three paths and all of a sudden somebody just leaves after the first one. Uh, it can be then hard to get somebody for the later paths because a lot of times people are looking to do all of them. So if you're not planning on doing all of the paths and just want to knock out one or two, let your group know if you're not meeting those requirements from the LFG. Number eight, say hello and thank you, even if you don't really mean it. When you join a group, it's really nice just to say, hey, how's it going, hello, anything like that. It's really quick, it's really easy, it's super friendly. And then when you're done, just say thank you. You can even put in TY, that's enough, not a big deal. I think a lot of times people just show up, run the path and leave without saying anything. And to me, it just seems a little rude. So be friendly and say hi and bye. Number eight, when you join a group, it's best if you're already in the zone for the dungeon, especially if you have long load times. It's incredibly frustrating when I'm trying to get people for a dungeon and they load in and they're in Lion's Arch or something, and we're just sitting there waiting and waiting and waiting, and then all of a sudden they load into the zone for the dungeon, and we're just waiting and waiting and waiting. If you know you have long load times and it takes you a while to get in, don't join a group until you finish. There's a good chance that group will still be there, and if they're not, there will be another group shortly after. It's not a big deal. Get in the zone first and then join the group. Number six, if you are intending to watch cutscenes in a dungeon, that's usually okay, but let your group know. If your group doesn't want you to watch cutscenes, then they'll kick you at the beginning rather than in the middle of the dungeon when they get pissed off at you for watching them all. Sometimes I'm okay with people watching cutscenes, sometimes I'm not. If you let me know, then I can let you know how I feel about it ahead of time. Number five, make sure to use consumables. Ideally, these are the dungeon potions appropriate for the dungeon, as those give you not only a really good damage boost, but some damage mitigation as well, so you have better survivability. Uh, that can be tough because they do take up a lot of inventory space. So in the very, very worst case, use uh, sharpening stones and some other type of food. But whatever you do, you should be running consumables 100% of the time in dungeons. No excuses. Don't be cheap. They're not that expensive. Number four, if you don't have a lot of inventory space, clear it before you start paths or before you join a group. It gets really frustrating when I get people into my dungeon group and they're having to stop you know, every path or every two paths to clear inventory because they're running mostly full. I understand that bags are expensive and bag space is expensive, but do what you can to clear that before you go. If you join a group and the first thing you say is hang on inventory, it is infuriating to me. Don't join a group if you have full inventory, clear it and then join. It's just basic etiquette. Number three, if you are not an experienced player in a dungeon path, don't join a group that says experienced. If you are not an experienced player, don't create an LFG and ask for experienced people. Like the one before, you shouldn't be expecting to get carried. Don't ask for something if you don't meet the requirements yourself. Number two, before joining any group in the LFG, read the entire description. The whole thing. Sometimes there's information that is not shown in the LFG that you have to mouse over to see the rest of it. Make sure you do that before you join. There's times I put up LFGs and I swear people join within a second or two of me posting it. There's absolutely no way they read my LFG and I find it really annoying. So please read the whole LFG before you join a group. And lastly, number one, the biggest rule of good etiquette in dungeons. If you don't see any groups in looking for group that meet what you're looking for, go ahead and make your own. Don't get on Reddit and complain that nobody wants to do what you want to do. 
Don't go to the official forums and whine about the Zerker meta. If you're looking for something and it doesn't seem to be there, there's a pretty good chance that somebody else wants to do the same thing. And if you make a looking for group post, people will join and they will do that thing with you. I've seen posts that are necro only and they fill up. Hell, I've sometimes as a fun thing made a post and said only people with a prime number of achievement points can join. And then people joined who didn't have them. And I'd be like, hey, no, you don't have prime number achievement points. And they'd be like, okay, lol, and leave. And it was fun, right? There are a lot of ways that you can put together a group and you can have whatever requirements you want if you make your own group. So don't be shy, go out there and have fun and have your type of fun, not somebody else's. All right, that's it, everybody. Those are my top 10 rules for dungeon etiquette. Did I leave anything off? Is my order totally wrong? Am I a complete moron? Let me know in the comments and let me know what you think uh, people should be doing when it comes to joining and running dungeons with strangers. We'll be back with Q&A in a little bit and more posts in the series in the future. Thanks, everybody.